Today she's going to talk about disability in the 21st century, uh, psychological, social, and political meanings. So Dr. Linton, thank you for joining us. Hi. Thank you, um, Dean Waters and um, Professor Drench, who uh, has given us this opportunity to get together. Now, you already think, you know, I'm a big cheese, right? Okay, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So watch me raise my cultural capital. <laughs> Bigger is better, right? Okay. What does it mean to be disabled in America? How do social and political forces affect personal experience? How do insiders view their lives and the obstacles they face? Nothing about us without us has been for many years the rallying cry of the disability rights movement. It basically talks about the ways that we are opposed to non-stakeholders making decisions about things that affect our lives. So nothing about us, meaning nothing that has to do with us, should be decided without us. However, I have been hearing a new iteration of that phrase, taking out two words and changing it to nothing without us. <laughs> Recognizing that it is not just the phenomenon that would be identified as disability specific that we should have a say in, but recognizing that there is hardly a subject or an area of discourse that we can talk about or a rights-based agenda or anything having to do with living and functioning in this world that shouldn't have a disability perspective. So, this is what I'm buying into. In the last um, few years, I have turned my attention to the arts because I think historically the arts in any society have been the testing ground for ideas, for change, for putting out there in a form that is provocative, that is interesting, that is exciting, new ideas to make people think differently about the situation. So, what did you see? What was this about, this GIM project? What'd you hear, what'd you see? Yeah, they're bringing you a mic. Um, I saw a transformation of image from what society would have us think about ourselves mm. and then what really can become of us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's why it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever, ever seen <laughs> because I saw something within my own self mm -hmm. um, that I could push beyond mm -hmm. what society has meant for me, mm -hmm. that there's another level. I see things that will take a great deal of imagination to change, a great deal of creative thinking because it has to do with a mindset. It has to do with an idea about who is worthy and how we experience the world. 